What is going on Power Stroke Central people? Welcome back to another video. Today we are actually going to be showing y'all how to increase turbo whistle on your 7.3. Stay tuned here and let's dive right into it. See you on the road. Do 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 do. First things first guys, got to get the club off because if you guys have been watching my videos, you know my 7.3 gets broken into a lot. So take that off. Now for the beautiful keyless start. Oh wait, kill switch on it. Got to do that first. We are currently on the road. I wanna be going over some stuff for you guys on how to make your turbo whistle more. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it and just what I've put on my truck to make my turbo whistle more. I'm gonna be, first of all, showing y'all guys some clips of me actually making the turbo whistle. So I'll run a couple of those outside the vehicle. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to go over to make y'all's turbo whistle louder is actually going to be your foot, guys. That is the biggest one, biggest key. Ooh, we gotta hustle. the biggest thing and the most important thing that you are going to need in order to increase turbo whistle on your vehicle on your 7.3 is actually your foot guys when you rev the rpm up and just drop it off you're gonna make the turbo whistle louder i've made a video on this in the past however i have done a couple things to my truck to really make it loud but the first thing you want to do if you have a stock 7.3 nothing done to it you have the muffler on it still you're actually just you can literally just i'll show you guys right now how to do it just rev it up 2500 rpm and let it off okay so as you guys know, my truck is not stock. We'll get into that in a second here, but we have got the RPM gauge right there. Y'all guys can see that RPM gauge clear. Uh, also guys, we've got 469,261 miles on the 7.3, which is quite impressive. But I'm gonna show y'all guys real quick here how I make this bad boy rumble and get the turbo whistling. Here we go here as wow, the sound's gonna bounce off. So as you guys heard that, uh, I do have a straight pipe on it, so it'd be just a lot, it'll be a little le less loud. All you have to do is rev it up to about 2,500, 2,500 RPM, as you guys heard right there. Obviously, the higher you rev it up, the louder your turbo whistle is going to be. So if I go to 3,000, it's a lot louder. 2,500 not as loud as you guys can hear. I don't know how well the audio is picking that up, but 2,500, you rev it up to that, let it off, you get a little turbo whistle. The higher RPM you go, the louder the turbo whistle is going to be. We're at a stop sign, so. You guys can hear that loud and clear inside the cab. So the next thing I have done, guys, to increase the turbo whistle on my 7.3 is actually done a straight pipe on it. That is what I wanted to get into right now. It's actually a really good spot to rip right here, so I just wanna show y'all guys the whistle on the straight pipe right now. Uh-oh, we shifted, got a downshift here. Now guys, in order to downshift, all you gotta do is just put your foot on the brake pedal and it'll downshift it for you. The straight pipe is the uh, second way that I've actually increased my turbo whistle tenfold, guys. This thing has increased from stock turbo whistle to absolutely insane turbo whistle. Obviously, guys, if you do a five inch MBRP exhaust, I've seen these, uh, I've seen comments on these. If you do that kind of a straight pipe, you're gonna get a lot louder turbo whistle. I know no half ass, if you guys have seen him. He hasn't posted in a while. I do watch his videos a lot, so I just wanted to give him a shout out in this video because he has a badass 7.3. No half ass has actually done a MB five inch uh, back pipe MBRP exhaust a system that all goes all the way up to the turbo and I really like that video and it really sounds really really good the straight pipe has increased my turbo a lot and all it, it only cost me like a hundred bucks and it was really cheap and easy and all I did was just cut the muffler off and added a three and three and a half inch pipe I didn't really add any bigger pipe so some of y'all might be wondering if the straight pipe dropped my fuel mileage or if the straight pipe actually helped me roll more coal and the answer is no um, it actually kept my fuel mileage about the same I have to see here I haven't filled up since the straight pipe coming to the coal question does it help me roll more roll more coal no it does not help me roll more coal i have not seen any increase in coal that's just kind of the thing you're going to have to do with an engine mod guys you're going to need to do a tune or delete i'm not really too sure on that i'm not very knowledgeable on a tune or delete so don't bash me for it but i know you have to do something with the engine in order to get it to roll more coal that brings me on to my next point here 
on how to make your turbo whistle more, how to increase your turbo whistle, and that is going to be actually a cold air intake. And right now, guys, I have the stock air intake. I do not have a cold air intake. I have gotten a couple questions about that. My air intake is completely stock, which means it is inside a box. Um, a cold air, air intake is basically a bigger air filter, and also it is outside of the box. So it is able to increase more air to the engine, which in turn gives you more power in your truck and also makes your turbo whistle more because you're able to get more air to that turbo. I don't know if that is 100% right on the explanation, but I did do a lot of Google search on that before I made this video just to make sure I was right on my terms. I'll be eventually doing a air intake video in the future for y'all so that way we can kind of see if it does actually make the turbo whistle more, but I've seen that that is the one thing that really helps make that turbo whistle like a freaking train. So for those of you real OG Power Stroke Central people, y'all guys know I have a kill switch on my truck. I do it almost, put it in almost every video. I put it in the beginning of this video. I'm gonna be launching a kill switch package because I have gotten so much, so many questions on what my kill switch is. It is kind of a custom wiring job. What is gonna be included in the package is every single anti-theft device I have, um, including the kill switch. It's also gonna be a how-to video on how to wire it all together. So if that's something you are interested in, I will have that all put like, together, hopefully by next week or a week or two. So that's something to look out for and just whenever that drops i'll let y'all guys know on the channel It'll be first thing i say so thank you guys for watching and once again stay tuned for that if you want to watch the next video it'll be up here or down there and peace out fellas